The book asks the question, what, what is the problem? Is it politics? You know, a lot of people, a lot of you, no doubt, say, ah, oh, it's politics, you know. Uh, is it bad economics? A lot of you will say, oh, the government has bad economics. Is it irresponsible individuals? Or is it the world economy? So what I did was I approached the University of Cape Town and said I would like to run a course in political economy for MPs. And uh, would they certify it? And what we did was we taped all the lectures, uh, Trevor Manuel, Rob Davies, all these people were taped, and my office typed out the, the manuscript. It was edited and uh, I showed it to a publisher thinking it would never be published because it was massive. I mean, you know, it was a, a, it was a manuscript of that size. And uh, she said she'd love to publish it. So it's a book for parliamentarians. For example, it deals with the three tiers of government, the legislature, the executive, which is the cabinet, and the judiciary. You see, the ANC is actually quite a powerful outfit and exercises a lot of influence. And it is actually, you know, we talk about the fourth arm, fourth tier of the state, which is the, the press, the media, is the fourth estate. Uh, it, 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 the media is actually the fifth estate. The fourth estate is the ANC. Because, you see, within the political system of South Africa, policy starts with the ANC. That's why when Zuma said, that he is first ANC and second state. There was an element of truth in that. We need, above all, to create jobs. I would like to see Blade and Zimande start a, a national program in cooperation with business, because business must come on board. And every government department must train. And that must be the national ethos. Train, train, train. There are many people in South Africa who say, that our problem is that the country is run by white males and we need to change that to black males. But, you know, really, are we going to change South Africa fundamentally by changing the color of capital? I don't believe it. I think it's cosmetic, I think it's window dressing, frankly, it's propaganda.